Hey everyone, happy Friday, it's almost weekend, hang in there. Almost two days without any obligations. Woohoo, party time! Well, simming time, I guess, for most of us. <laughs> Bunch of nerds we are. Anyway, welcome to a new lot, 115 Riverbend Road, and now we will all start singing the Pocahontas uh, song. Just around the riverbend. That one. I'm probably not going to sing the entire song because, you know, Disney will sue my ass. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is just a normal residential lot. It's not very big. The lot itself is actually quite large, but, you know, it has a pond on there. Of course, to show off the new seasons, like frozen pond texture, like, woo. It's quite funny to see how they are pushing uh, certain things when, you know, that's what, I think that's also why most of, a lot of these lots have a pond, just to show that off. Totally makes sense, because that's how I would do it. So yeah, the lot itself, uh, not that exciting, it's just kind of a bungalow type thingy. I messed around with the roof for a while, I'm gonna start doing something to the roof <laughs> later on as well. Um, but this time I kept the lot, like just one uh, uh, like ground floor. I didn't add like a second floor like I did some of the other lots. Um, I started off using this kind of very pale grayish blue as the exterior because I quite liked it. But you know, just matching roofs and nothing felt, just didn't feel right. So I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure what I want to do. It's probably the weirdest roof I've made. And by weirdest, I mean it's. Uh, what kind of style of roof is this? I don't feel like this is typically an American roof or something. But, uh, also I still have a cold, so if you think I sound like crap, yeah, it's true. <laughs> so, of course, to finish off the lot, I added some amazing shutters. Uh, turned out that while I was recording this part, I actually <laughs> broke my shutters by downloading, like, another version and I forgot to delete the older meshes, so that's why there's a tiny edit here, Ta-da! Because I had to exit the game and <laughs> so stupid, it just started on this lot. I was like, oh no, I have to start all over again, damn it. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, of course, just a tile, uh, the, the one tile, uh, left and natural windows. It's quite funny how... These are the windows that, you know, when I started playing The Sims 2 without, like, any custom content, I quite like using these windows, and then I was like, no, they are poor windows, I want the big ones, always the expensive stuff. And now, and then I have my whole, you know, uh, non maxis match uh, thing. I still have that, let's be honest, but I've definitely been using a lot more maxis, uh, stuff and add-ons and all that recently also I decided to go for red shutters because I felt like most of the lots so far have had dark shutters so it's like you know what I saw this picture of like a sort of a you know farmhouse thingy that also had like a cream well cream that's not so dirty <laughs> a beige like uh, wood uh, siding outside and red um, shutter, so I was like, you know, I wanted to steal that idea. Yeah, oh, sorry for the gross ads. Anyway, I tried to uh, do something uh, exciting with the roof uh, at this point. Kind of wanted to make like a sort of a porch, except like not on a porch, but just you know on the on the ground. But yeah, this roof looks weird. <laughs> I mean, I tried; it could look like really, really awesome, but. That's always a shame, you know, you can't really do any decent, like, porch-style roofs because of the roofs bleeding through each other. It's just a shame. I mean, this looks kind of alright to me, but I was like, nah, I can't <laughs> do that, so I decided not to do it. And to go for a boring, ha, you know, boring, uh, roof. And, uh... I did add the little window because that, you know, that's cute. So it kind of gives the illusion that the uh, second floor is like uh, <laughs> occupiable, but uh, it's not. It's purely decorative. Got some uh, 
I was fiddling around with the kind of window I wanted to put there because I really like the tiny round window, but it's a little bit too high for me than I like. So I tried to find another like La Fenetra add-on and you know, I was like, oh, I'll just try this one, that one, long, short. Sadly, I do not have like a, a that particular window to put down in the in the. Oh God, I'm struggling to talk. Anyway, let's move on. What are these called? Gables, I think, or something. Gables, fables? No, that's a, that's something else. Yeah, those are cute. I haven't used those uh, yet, but I uh, definitely want to use them more because they are so damn cute and they look so farmy. Of course, put down some roof because otherwise, you know, they're gonna complain about stuff sh snowing in. Let's... Oh, I forgot to check. Did this lot originally have any like flooring upstairs, or doesn't? Or if there's like a roof over the first, like the the bottom floor, doesn't don't the Sims complain? Because I know if you don't put like a roof above their heads, or like I mean, like a ceiling. They'll start complaining about like, oh, it's snowing inside the room. But if, is a roof also just good enough? It's very interesting. I, I just, I don't remember. God, it seems like forever goes into play the game. It probably is, so, oops. Of course, this is my new favorite door and I'm so happy with all these 10,000 colors that I downloaded for it. You know, I don't download a lot of Michelle stuff, but when she does something good, yeah, it's very nice. She makes everything so matchy. <laughs> Although, wooden stoves, no thank you. <laughs> yeah, I decided to go for a uh, bluish door because I didn't want to do it red because that would feel a little bit like too much. Normally I would, but I was like, you know what, Just let's do something else. Let's experiment. So it's actually quite funny because this lot is quite tiny, as you will see while I'm like decorating the interior in the next two videos. I actually totally forgot about making a uh, dining area. So funny. I made a beautiful kitchen and at one point I was like, wait a minute, I didn't put down a dining table. Oh, oh no, I have to do everything again. <laughs> that was a little bit stupid. So, why didn't I edit this out? I remember editing here, but just we'll have to just watch me put down floors forever. There's so many wooden floors, just look at it. God, that's awful. Anyway, yeah, of course it's my new favorite floor, the wooden, the piney, wooden kind of broad planks, I guess. I just really like all the texture that they have with all of the the lines and the little knots and I don't know, it just makes the uh, room look so much better. And I'm much more, um, I just say that. Ah, I don't know how to say it. Makes it less, look less formal or something, you know, just a little bit more. Ah, I'll stop. Let's let's change the subject. Yeah, I'm putting down tiled walls because of course a bathroom and a kitchen must have tiles. I definitely love that tile. Uh, this tiled window, oh, window, <laughs> tile uh, wall that I got up there. It's very. It's one of my favorite textures. There are definitely a couple of walls that I love, and this one is one of them. Very nice tiles, but just sexy tiles. <laughs> See, I decided to go for the blue um, in the uh, in the hallway because uh, you know it matches the door like really well, and I thought that would look fun. And I changed the wood tone a little bit more so it matched those awesome wall colors. So, you know. Here I am doing a futile attempt to find any better <laughs> um, shutters, but I was like, no, I gotta keep the red. It's so striking, you know? So that's why I kept it. 
Porza has some boring ceiling work. So very exciting. And then again, ceilings are hardly ever are. My uh, ceiling button broke. There's a button you have, like, and you can look up to the ceiling. And I don't know. It's probably because of the camera mods that I have. It broke. So uh, sometimes I click it. And I'm like, oh no! Now I'm going to into the uh, ceiling. Uh, like, uh, how do you say that? Ceiling view. I don't know. It doesn't happen. And I'm like, oh yeah, it broke. And it's been like that for years, so <laughs> I still don't know why I'm. Uh, I respond like, oh no, it's gonna. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, just a small white picket fence around it, of course, because it's a cliche. All of the lots are. They're all cutesy farmy. Little small town lots. Little shutters and little. Little paths and little white picket fences, and everything's cute and adorable. And of course, just like the other gardens, uh, most of the plants are going to be focused like near the house. Some of you might think it's boring and way too simple, but I actually quite like it. I just wish I. I don't know. Maybe did something more around the fence or something. I just have to study <laughs> American houses a little bit more, maybe, than the gardens. Initially, I wanted to go for a garden with purple flowers and purple, like, uh, different shades of purple. And, you know, uh, some obviously some green stuff and uh, little, little white flowers. And I tried to use these shrubs, but, uh, I don't know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't working for me at one point. It still is for me, obviously, at this point of the video, but, uh, don't worry, it's gonna change. I really like those, uh, oleander shrub uh, colors, though. Where's the mid -biscus? I keep forgetting. No, it's the oleander. So, I got an itch. Anyway, it's my phone, of course. It's so rude. So, yeah, here's where I switch to more um, red and orange. Uh, and white, of course. So, it's a little bit more, uh, I guess, a little bit more matchy. And I also used a little bit more. Uh, Exotic flowers, you know <laughs> Probably they probably got the whole town talking Like, Ooh, did you see that front garden? They had these weird exotic flowers like how do you grow those like those are not geraniums <laughs> Oh man This town this town is filled with people who are <laughs> my version of this town is filled with people who think if you're like outside of your, uh, you know, it's kind of like that uh, movie. Um, oh, what's it called again? Hot Fuzz. When they try to, you know, keep the town as pretty as possible, and everyone has to do <laughs> fit in perfectly. Otherwise, they're like, no. That's kind of my River Blossom Hills. So you can't not you cannot have. Exotic flowers in your garden. It's just a big no-no. The entire garden commi commission will drop by and sit and will give you like a garden scissor and make you cut the flower. That's my uh, <laughs> my River Blossom Hills. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos. <laughs> For the group, that's what they are. Hmm. You have to mow your lawn like regularly and uh, none of your trees can be too big or too unruly. Your shutters have to be buffed. <laughs> your pond needs to have like a minimum uh, amount of plants or you know not go above the maximum. It has to be well kept. Everything has to be nice and decent. What's that other movie called? Pleasant View or something? Pleasant Fail? No wait, that's like... <laughs> I think we all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I just really like that idea of this really oppressive town. Like, no. 
No, Harold. You can't do this. I mean, I already built, built like, a, a house for lesbians, so that's probably going down really well. <laughs> Harold, they're lesbians. Ugh. They live in a brick house. There's, like, nothing on the side. No siding, no shutters. What's going on, Harold? Little, little tree. So yeah, that's uh, another look into my uh, dark uh, and upsetting brain, I guess. Everybody has these awesome, like, little <laughs> heck cannons and fan, uh, fan cannons and writes their own adorable sim stories and mine are, like, filled with serial killers and oppressive neighbors and <laughs> keeping up appearances to the max. Oh, and everyone else is writing stories like, oh, who's Dina's baby daddy? And I'm like, well, who killed Dina? <laughs> who put her head in a freezer? <laughs> God, that's so upsetting. I'm so sorry. Bella wasn't kidnapped. No, she's not. Anyway, <laughs> that was this first part. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope it didn't scare you off. Bye-bye.